Chapter 33. Of the Seals, and Characters of Natural Things. All stars have their peculiar natures, properties, and conditions, the seals and characters whereof they produce through their rays, even in these inferior things, viz. in elements, in stones, in plants, in animals, and their members, whence everything receives from an harmonious disposition, and from its star shining upon it, some particular seal, or character stamped upon it, which is the significator of that star, or harmony, containing in it a peculiar virtue, differing from other virtues of the same matter, both generically, specifically, and numerically. Everything therefore hath its character pressed upon it by its star for some particular effect, especially by that star which doth principally govern it, and these characters contain, and retain in them the peculiar natures, virtues, and roots of their stars, and produce the like operations upon other things, on which they are reflected, and stir up, and help the influences of their stars, whether they be planets, or fixed stars, and figures, and celestial signs, viz. as oft as they shall be made in a fit matter, and in their due, and accustomed times. Which ancient wise men considering, such as labored much in the finding out of the occult properties of things, did set down in writing the images of the stars, their figures, seals, marks, characters, such as nature herself did describe by the rays of the stars, in these inferior bodies, some in stones, some in plants, and joints, and knots of boughs, and some in divers members of animals. For the bay tree, the low tree, and the marigold, marigold, are solary plants, and in their roots, and knots being cut off, show the characters of the sun, so also in the bone, and shoulder blades in animals, whence there arose a spatulary kind of divining, that is, by the shoulder blades, and in stones, and stony things the characters, and images of celestial things are often found. But seeing that in so great a diversity of things there is not a traditional knowledge, only in a few things, which humane understanding is able to reach, therefore leaving those things which are to be found out in plants, and stones, and other things, as also, in the members of divers animals, we shall limit ourselves to man's nature only, which seeing it is the completest image of the whole universe, containing in itself the whole heavenly harmony, will without all doubt abundantly afford us the seals, and characters of all the stars, and celestial influences, and those as the more efficacious, which are less differing from the celestial nature. But as the number of the stars is known to God alone, so also their effects, and seals upon these inferior things, wherefore no humane intellect is able to attain to the knowledge of them. Whence very few of those things became known to us, which the ancient philosophers, and chiromancers, chiromancers, attained to, partly by reason, and partly by experience, and there be many things yet be hid in the treasury of Nta. We shall here in this place note some few seals, and characters of the planets, such as the ancient chiromancers, chiromancers, knew in the hands of men. These doth Julian call sacred, and divine letters, seeing that by them, according to the holy scripture is the life of men writ in their hands. And there are in all nations, and languages are ways the same, and like to them, and permanent, to which were added, and found out afterwards many more, as by the ancient, so by latter chiromancers, chiromancers. And they that would know them must have recourse to their volumes. It is sufficient here to show from whence the characters of nature have their original, and in what things they are to be inquired after.